Hey everyone, it's ITP Jude here. Um, wanted to do an in-depth look at heroes. Um, basically, when you start the game, you're just going to have a couple that are available to you, most likely the blue ones. I didn't do a whole lot on those in this video. Uh, we're going to focus more on gold and purple. Um, the biggest thing is that what you've got is you've got 10 gold uh, heroes and 10 purple heroes. The gold ones, you have to purchase a few of them. Uh, the easiest one to get towards the beginning is Joan of Arc and this guy Hanzo. Joan of Arc is more of a priest, uh, but it does offer some bonuses uh, when she uses her powers, um, strengthening your attack for a few seconds. Whereas Hanzo is going to help you with cavalry attacks when you're attacking uh, Barbarians Expedition right here. Uh, and other neutral units, so the camps, uh, the uh, guardians around shrines, and the ruins, stuff like that. Um, it, if you're not going to be buying, then you're going to be, everything's just going to kind of be grayed towards the bottom of your list, whatever's not open is at the bottom, and you're just kind of waiting your time. Uh, whoever you get, um, try to focus on that a little bit. So if you open up uh, Timujin, you get really lucky. He's a cavalry hero. He's good at the expedition as well. Work on him. Uh, there's going to come a time when the game is going to offer some bonuses, and you can go to your purchases, and you'll see stuff where you can spend some gold, and um, and and level him up faster. Uh, how do you level them up? you need scrolls uh, or they like to call them proofs uh, when you, every 10 levels when you hit it so i'm at level 30 right now with alexander here it requires 50 of these proofs gold proofs uh, they're not easy to get and <laughs> whoever you have whatever you plan to focus on um, only spend it on him. If you get some more gold heroes, don't start spending it evenly between all of them and leveling them all up to 20 and then all up to 30 and stuff like that. You're, you're hurting yourself in the long run. Aim to get one all the way to 60 uh, first. That's going to give you the best um, skills. So right here, we go into the second tab here on the right. You're going to see that your hero levels every five. Um, they give you a a bonus and that bonus is pretty big uh <laughs> down the road um each one has something different so obviously leadership is going to be more for all units whereas this guy is more cavalry so it's cavalry attack joan of arc is a priest so here's priest defense uh richard i believe is infantry here we go and so infantry defense infantry again so there is there is a pattern to those uh, on what you're going to get they also offer based on your skills um, that you get and the skills are listed right here um, there's no numbers under these because this hero is awakened I got each of them to level 5 and once you get to all five, this won't say skill slot upgrade. It'll say awaken or awakened. And you just have to click on it. It doesn't cost anything. And you get to upgrade. When you upgrade, you'll notice here's level one, two, three, four, five. Awaken just gives you a little bit of boost right there. So by 300 versus the, it's been going up by 150 previously. Um, obviously, these are not cheap either. You can see right here I've got, I've used four, because level one's already there, so four to get that one, eight, 12, um, 13, 14. So, and now it's costing 70 a piece to upgrade. So it's gonna take me another uh, 150 <laughs> more pieces, not including this 21 right here. And this 21 on the side is something that you're able to, um, Put, make them a badge into a, a specific character. It, right here, it has no picture. You can turn over those 21 and make them all to Mujin if I wanted to. Uh, the only character that doesn't work with is Joan of Arc. 
she doesn't have that list of 21 on the side you can only get those from main campaign so now we're going to go into where can you get proofs where can you get badges um, obviously you can buy them the, e e the fastest way is to get them from the store you go to the limited offers legendary hero packs and it's going to come with uh, some proofs there's uh, these are for Temujin um, here's some uh, proofs down here sorry uh, badges were the Temujin right there um, the proofs are in the daily hero XP packs and in the weekly you can pick up well, maybe it's in the limited offers here we go so there's some badge limits for um, for Hanzo again um, I'm not seeing any more proof so this is gonna go up it's saying that you can buy limit one because if I buy this one the next price pack I believe is $19.99 and then it goes $49.99 and then it's $99.99 and um, at $99.99 I believe you're getting 20 proofs per purchase and it, I, I think it's uh, unlimited so you can keep, just keep buying the more you buy so this one's giving me one point towards this this lever here this um, whatever you want to call it <laughs> there's another there's 10 badges up here there's some purple ones as well there's 30 proofs up here and just kind of keeps going this is all stuff that you can use um, it's all very useful so if you're gonna do it do it all at once get to that 99 um, paid out <laughs> your choice um, the other place that you can pick them up is gonna be right over here uh, value packs this unlocks later in the game and starts at the 499 uh, two proofs not huge but the only disadvantage of going this route is the fact that you're not getting the points that are leveling up for this this uh man i don't know what to call it just this bar so um i like to say pick up from the limited offers uh going back you don't want to pay you uh you, no money uh, <laughs> in main campaign this is going to be the easiest way so i'm in the eighth uh version on the map uh work my way around uh starting at the top working down and going in this circle so here on eight um, every five is going to give you something so starting at the one um, I would uh, I'm sorry starting at the five there were some badges that were given for Joan of Arc here at the 10 which is my next one there's some more badges at the 15 there's some more badges and that's the end so in between those it's just giving you some books and some points uh, that you can use in the store uh, but at every five missions you're getting some badges you're also the more stars you get so you get three stars per mission you're gonna get 10 proofs and a blank mythic hero badge uh, you're also getting some epic proofs if you're early in the game this is big um, 12 over here if you get to 30 stars and 15 if you're getting to 45 stars which is a perfect mission so um, that is those if you are working on that Joan of Arc you can buy up to three a day um, obviously your points once you get past uh, stage six in the main campaign you're actually making profit uh, towards these badges uh, versus losing points so uh, after stage six I started buying them all the time otherwise I was saving it up just kind of seeing which purple ones did I want um, for these heroes uh, Nubinaga was a big one for me um, and then uh, I would say Ivan's a big one I haven't worked on him and then some I've got some new heroes towards the bottom that I haven't really uh, worked on as well Herman is a leadership so that's a big one too Cleopatra she's done uh, Kim over here she's she's worth a little bit <laughs> Mulan being one of your early archers that you might open up um, so that's one place you can buy those badges um, another place you can pick them up is going to be in the crates 
uh, during the different events that are going on, um, whatever they are, they're going to give you um, certain prizes. And this one, there's no crates in this one, but um, this is I'm further along in the game, so uh, different prizes are handed out early in the game based on where you are uh, that make more sense. So um, you kind of just kind of work with what you got. But when you get those crates, you can go into your bag down at the bottom here. You're going to see silver crates. These are going to hand out uh, purple badges, purple uh, epic badges, and rare badges. Let's see. Let's see what we can get real quick. I only have five. Usually I, I wait till I have more, but let's see what it looks like. So I got one blank uh, purple badge, one purple proof, and one blue proof. I don't do anything with blue. I think they're already done anyways. And then you can get gold uh, proofs and badges uh, along with character unlocks, uh, gold character unlocks in the gold chest. I'm not going to open those. There's only two. You're probably not going to see much out of that. So let's well, got super lucky. <laughs> Um, so the other thing that people do is who do you team up with who for missions the first thing you gotta look at is what are their skills um, not necessarily these skills at the bottom you're gonna read what those do um, and you're gonna pick from the list what you want uh, single target damage takes less damage so almost everybody always uses that first one that's always uh, in the list and then you kind of pick from the other uh, six that are available and pick your favorite four. Uh, it does not reset. If you drag it down and put it in a, in a slot, um, it's automatically whatever level that slot was at. So um, these are all awakened. So let me show you one that's not awakened uh, right here. Let me go back here. Skills. And we're going to switch out Nomandism with the legend skill. Um, Nomadism right now is showing that it is basically just a one. Um, nothing nothing filled out. I'm going to put it into a five slot right here and then automatically now when I read it it's lit up all the way to the 40 percent that level five. So um, did it not, oh yeah I put it back in sorry <laughs> but same same difference so uh, let me just show it to you properly. Cannot equip now, please. Re oh, the troop is not home. Yeah, I'm prepping for something going on right now, so uh, I apologize. <laughs> I can't show you that one. Let me see here. Let's pick a hero that is not gone right now. Probably Ivan. And I can go into Ivan and say he doesn't have anything unlocked, so this is a bad example. But let's move this one over to skill... Four. Can I do that? Yes. And then drag that one over here. So now instead of this one, which was showing a four a minute ago, um, I was able to move the territory expansion into that slot four, making it a 10.5% damage versus if he's over here, I'm only getting a 6% damage. So that's that's an example right there just move this stuff even if you already have them out you can switch them to something that's more powerful um, if that's a skill that you want active at that time so um, leadership that was what I was getting into <laughs> these skills at the top here you have uh, a certain amount of heroes that have the leadership skill four of them uh, three of them are I'm sorry two of them are gonna be gold and two are purple um, Hannibal is my favorite. I bought him though. So if you want to unlock that, that's an easy one to get. If you go in purple, um, you've got Ivan, who's leader, Siege, and can do great damage to normal attacks. He's really useful with the Siege. Tell you, or siege weapons, I would say, more than anything else. Um, your other ones that you have that are purple are going to be Herman, which I have not touched yet because I've got... Um, Hannibal, so I'm not too worried. Same exact stuff, but this guy's more of a ground guy. Um, so I really like him on the ground. Um, if I, or what I've seen of him on the ground, I apologize <laughs> since I haven't used him. Um, but those are your two purple ones that might be easier to open up based on your uh, what you've got uh, available to you. So your heroes. 
Uh, then you've got your... Uh, we're going to go into Calvary, because Calvary, it, there are six heroes that are based Calvary. Um, it's the most in the game. Everything else is four for infantry, priests, and leadership. Um, love Temujin. This guy is something you can unlock through the VIP. So I'm going to click, I don't know if you saw where I clicked, here on the top left, where it says V12. Um, in these, you when I... When you unlock every VIP level, there's those Temujin badges, 80 of them. So, got stuff like that. Um, also comes with some level 7 XP books, which is really good, and some really great resources. Each level kind of gives you more Temujin. So, um, you're, what you're seeing is, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's 210 badges that I just showed you right there, just from those three chests, uh, 260... Uh, 290 going back uh, 320 350 365 we're getting pretty small here so 380 so far uh, going all the way back to VIP 4 and he's still not awakened it is expensive to get these uh, these heroes awakened um, and I still need 150, 150 badges, roughly, to get this guy done. So I could put this 20 into that right now, but I'm going to save that for anything that might just need a couple here or there um, with the, the other heroes uh, as I'm leveling them up, as, since this one's going to be a bit. Um, and mobility. Uh, Temujin is a, a favorite of mine because he can move fast. Uh, it looks like he's a Ferrari while everyone else is a Ford or a Chevy on the map walking around. Uh, so you can get to places quicker. You can catch up to an enemy that's trying to run away from you. Um, it doesn't seem to work as well on the water, but he's still a little bit fast. Um, so if you get into those boats uh, later down in the game, um, he's he's nice to have there as well. So a little bit. <laughs> Um, next, after Calvary, you've got Infantry. Nobunaga is a favorite of mine. He has a very unique skill, Field Battle. He's the only one that has this. The hero is good at fighting other players' troops. When you're at war with somebody and you know there's going to be a battle on the ground, not, in, not, not talking about attacking castles, uh, but just open field battles, this is the one to have. Nubunaga. Nobunaga. <laughs> I got him awakened. I did it quickly. Uh, love his skills. This is also one of the heroes that's really good at um, attacking some of the bigger players that are ranked higher up. Um, if you have your castle set to infantry, um, and then you're going to be able to use this guy for a lot of good stuff. Um, Belisarius is a purple that's also really good, but at the cavalry side of things. Um, so both of those being purple uh, might be easier to get than getting Temujin or getting um, another cavalry guy. Uh, I guess Han Hannibal is kind of my cavalry guy, even though he doesn't say cavalry. This is my dude um, on those cavalry marches. So. Um, uh, this Edward the First is a cavalry guy, I guess. So, and he's also awakened. Um, I'll I'll team those two up every now and then, uh, just for the heck of it. But um, I find that I get more out of having a leader in each group with cavalry or with the the infantry than if I combine two um, cavalry guys together. Uh, you've also got your priests. Uh, there are four priests in this game. Um, your easiest one to find is that Joan of Arc from the main campaign. And then I would say Cleopatra is a clear second, being that she's purple. Um, right behind them is going to be Kim. And she's also purple. And then you've got this guy, Charlemagne. He, he's, he's pretty badass. So when I, I got him pretty late in the game... And I was shocked how well he uh, he stood up to everything. So um, he gives a lot of great bonuses. You also notice I have him at 
uh, this blue symbol on it. That's garrison. Any hero that I've got working a wall has that garrison symbol. Uh, if I get attacked, they're the ones that are helping defend. Um, everyone else is outside the gate right now, so that's why you're not seeing the blue. Otherwise, you would see it on Frederick here. He's really good with that. Uh, not Frederick, I apologize. We're looking at Richard. He's my garrison guy as well. So um, he's teamed up with one of them, and I believe uh, I've got Hannibal in there as well uh, when we're doing some garrison events. Um, there's not a good way to show this, so I'm just going to drag this over. Uh, these, it, you can pause the video at this point and just kind of read them, but for the different things that you have to do, uh, in the game, uh, one of the biggest things uh, as you work your way towards the middle is attacking the temple. Uh, this also shows the skills that we used um, attacking the temple. Um, Alexander Temujin. If you have somebody who has those two or can focus on those two uh, as you're working towards the events that lead to temple opening, you're, you're going up against a hefty amount of T8s. Uh, or T9s, can't remember which troop, it's been a while, that are inside that. Um, they're also being reinforced from the side, there's people being attacked on the ground, like, they're coming at you pretty hard. So, unlock these skills, and you're, you're going to get really high points. Um, obviously, you're going to need multiple alliances to help you with winning that temple. So, you got to work together. Highest points value wins the highest uh, rewards. And if you want to have that, this is what you want to use. Um, our team actually is not the one who used those two. Um, another group that was here, Legion, they pulled out the win in points. Even though we had more power technically, they won by several million damage points uh, higher than us. Um, and they shared that these are the skills they were using for that. So that was really nice of them uh, to share that for, for us. Um, you only attack the temple once, or hopefully you only attack it once. <laughs> if you lose, then you're going to do it again, but um, <laughs> until you pull off that win. Alexander Temujin. Uh, when you're attacking other players' castles, Hannibal uh, teamed up with either Richard or uh, another good troop type. Um, so uh, I would have, if it were me, I would be doing Hannibal with. Uh, Nobunaga uh, and an infantry attack march so 126,000 infantry in that one and then I would throw in a, another leader going with Temujin um, and uh, that would be who's another leadership? Frederick so I'd put Frederick and Temujin together everyone does it a little bit different uh, and I don't know that there's really a right way to go about that um, you just kind of pick what you want. So going back to this list, cavalry fighting in the field, Temujin with Vlad or Belisarus is what people tend to do. Cavalry in a rally, Hanzo with Timur, infantry garrisoned um, if you're attacking, uh, or if you're garrisoned, sorry, it's going to be Richard Charles, infantry out in the field, attacking out in the field, Alexander with Pompey, or do you, Alexander with Richard, Alexander with Nobu, uh, Nubunaga. So, infantry rally, Hannibal Richard, Archer Field and Rally, Edward with Pompey, or Mulan and Sid, uh, sending both both of them if you're if you're into archers. But archers is a much harder to to get into. Um, I'm gonna talk about that in a different video where I go into all the different type of troops and when they unlock and stuff. Uh, your healers, Kim and Joan of Arc. Uh, rally healers, Cleopatra and Charlemagne. Um, Charlemagne is a is going to heal um, more than just your own troops. It'll heal everyone else if up to a certain amount of people. Uh, so keep them in close if you can, uh, but not too close. Um, when you're doing when you're hitting uh, barbarian um, forts, if you get too close at those higher levels, um, your your healers will get hit. So you gotta you gotta watch that distance. And then with Siege, Frederick and Vlad. Um, those are two really good ones. Um, Siege is pretty big when you're attacking or trying to take down somebody's uh, uh, territory 
and attacking the temple. I've got a, a quick video on how to do siege on the temple and that did wonders. You have to take down those walls and it is, it is tricky to do. Uh, it takes a lot of work. Um, I think it was about two hours for us to get it all the way down to zero. So definitely watch that quick video, a minute and a half or something like that. So a minute, 20 seconds. Uh, but this is just an idea that, that we all kind of put out there. So feel free to take a look at that in your free time. Um, the other thing to look at here, uh, I showed you guys the skills, cavalry attack uh, as you level it up. And as your skills level up, um, so these down here, your skills, you're also getting a bonus towards uh, stuff back at your castle. So training uh, of your troops, resource load, how much you're, everyone's carrying as they're, you're farming on the grounds. Um, yeah, more training. Uh, food collection speed. Um, Hero XP, that one's a big one with Belisarius. You might want to check that out. Um, Edward giving you that stone collection speed. So everyone's got something just a little bit different out here for you. Um, resource collection speed, that's a good one because uh, that's everybody. So uh, Frederick is a good one probably to, to work on if you, if you get him early on. Plus he's in that leadership. So uh, this is also important. You, there's this third tab called Homeland Defense Attributes. As you're leveling up your skills, or leveling up your hero up to level 60, these skills will upgrade. So my Hannibal is maxed with the 4-4. There's no awaken level, it's just level 4. So 4 level skill, skill damage, 200%. This sword's kind of on most of them, so not a lot of extra there. Sword, sword, sword doesn't matter what you are the priest even has the sword so get those get you know a few heroes up to level 60 as quick as you can uh, one gold a couple purples um, your blues for early on um, it's it's helpful to get those up I know I'm mine aren't at 60 but uh, I didn't know all this stuff early on so <laughs> homeland defense this is not at your main gate at at the beginning of the game you only have one gate that's really available to you. This is something that opens up later. Secondary gate here. And that's where you can click on the homeland defense. And there's missions. And when you go into these missions, you can pick there I have four unlocked because of the level I'm at. You'll start with just one, then you probably will have a second one pretty fast. And it takes a little bit to get to that third and that fourth. Um, but it's based on what's coming at you. So and they have skills. Um, and those skills cost a certain amount of points. Uh, so we'll do an example here. Um, so here's, this is collecting points so that I can then use a hero. And you know, my favorite is gonna be Hannibal. If you set it to auto battle, you're gonna watch that Hannibal's gonna go off the most when that's unlocked. Um, if I click on it, it's showing me where's that power gonna go. Um, and now that I've clicked on it, I can't unclick I got can't let go of my mouse uh, because I, I I'm waiting for this big guy to get here right now. So, but this does a nice hefty damage right there. Bam. So um, then we got Temujin. He's he's sending out. He puts out three archers, I think, with his. So can't really see it. Uh, waiting for Hannibal to be ready to shoot again. Got that big old giant elephant coming at us. And all you're trying to do is survive. Keep your castle alive. That damage, I'm at about 90% right now. Um, I'm just not even using my powers. I'm just explaining this to you guys. So, <laughs> but we'll throw it out there, and then auto battle. Let it let it do its own thing. So, um, victory, yay! So, tells you how much damage you did. Obviously, my Hannibal being at level 60, he's going to do the most damage. If you get other characters to 60, you're probably going to see them start to get much closer. But all three of these are basically at 55. Um, so you can see how much more Temujin's doing versus... Uh, I did use his power, so that makes sense. Um, but you can kind of compare them and see who's doing the most work. Um, compare those powers. Um, check out... Read what that secondary is. 
um, see if it's something that's something that would be useful to you um, in that fight. So I have Belisarius in there because he's level 55, but um, it says forces enemies within a small range to stay in place while dealing 140. So this kind of just you know freezes them for three seconds and we do 140% damage. That's not, it's only the ones that he's attacking though. So that's not as great. I like this one though. Um, releases flying daggers that deals 185% damage per second to enemies within a certain range for four seconds, 185%. So that's way better. Um, and then you've got, let's see, I had this guy in here. This one's doing the summons a holy swordsman to the battlefield whose attack and HP is 110% of that of the hero for 14 seconds. So 14 seconds at 110%. Not doesn't sound as great as 185% uh, for four seconds, but if you add that up, it's doing quite a bit. Plus, it's putting another character on the map there for a little bit. Um, so that 14 seconds, uh, it adds up. So I've got him out there. And then, of course, my Hannibal. Um, this guy summons a war elephant to charge ahead, dealing 200% damage to the targets on combat and knocks them airborne. We don't really see them go airborne, but you see them get pushed back. So <laughs> I like using that on the elephant or the large barbarian that comes at me, the giants. Um, at these later levels, so um, you're also earning uh, you're earning books uh, speed ups. So um, speed ups help you level up. You're earning some resources. There's a little bit of XP, um, but uh, everything there's just there's different stuff out there. So um, try them out, and when it opens up. It's a nice, easy way to just have some fun. It's all solo. You're not up against anybody else. And enjoy. That's the end of my video. I don't really have anything else to chat about at this time. Hope this was helpful. Uh, better than the last hero video. Um, gives you a little bit more about the different um, heroes and how they're useful together. Uh, how to team them up. Um, good luck. Have a good time. Bye.